Hey, want to find out how to keep me in focus no matter how close I am without that annoying autofocus? Stay tuned. Gonna tell you right now. Hey, High Tech Nomad here, and today I want to talk about autofocus and locking the focus. Now, what I found is I've started to use my cell phone more and more to do filming, and while I first thought that the autofocus was fantastic, I'm now finding that for things that I want to shoot, the autofocus is not that great, meaning I actually want to turn it off. So, obviously, you understand how autofocus works. When an object is closer, it tries to focus in on that object, and then as you move something out of the way, as you can see, it focuses on that piece. So if it comes back in, there's this pulsing while it tries to figure out, and depending upon how close the item actually is, you actually, it can take rather a long time while it goes back and forth trying to figure out exactly where the focus should actually be. Okay? Now that's fantastic if you're filming something that you need to have be in, auto, in focus all the time. However, it's not so good if you're trying to shoot like a little film or a little skit or a documentary or something. You know things are going to be moving, but you don't want to have the focus constantly changing. So how do you fix that? Well, I actually was looking for all sorts of apps and different cameras and things of that nature, and I couldn't find anything. I shouldn't say that. I couldn't find anything initially, and then finally I did actually find something. And that's what I wanted to share with you today, because apparently it's been there all this time and I was unaware of it. So apparently on any Android camera, uh, 4.0 and up, if you want to turn off that autofocus pulsing, which we can again see right here, you simply push and hold your finger on the button, and after a few seconds, release it. Oh, sorry, let me go into video here first. Sorry. <laughs> So let's, uh, let's do that again. So I'm going to push and hold my finger there. And then after a few seconds when I release it, we'll actually see, see if we can get it to come up. And you push and hold it long enough, and eventually it will come up. Any second. Am I in video? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. So push and hold your finger long enough. And again, so it's a little trick to it. You have to, uh, the first time I do it, I, you actually have to be recording. So I'm going to push and hold it long enough. And now you'll see this AF, and that actually is autofocus, and that's your autofocus lock. So now when I do this, see, now Piggy's uh, perfectly focused, and the background is not in focus, but when I come back to Piggy, he is in focus, but when I go over there, he's not in focus. See, we don't have that pulsing. It's not uh, constantly trying to figure out what should be in focus. The focus is actually locked, and you can change it. So, for example, I can now... Click over there. Now that's in focus. Piggy's not so much in focus. That's in focus. Piggy's not so much in focus. Click it again. Now this is in, now Piggy's in focus. Back's not. And you won't have that constant um, moving back and forth. And you can turn that off by simply clicking on that AF for the autofocus. And now it will go back to the mode where it's actually trying to figure out what it should actually focus on. Okay, actually. I've actually had some trouble actually turn sometimes after I turn it off I have trouble. Okay, so there it goes. So they see there it's back to trying to figure out should it focus on Piggy or should it focus on the back. So again I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna push and hold the button. Release, I'll get the little autofocus. Okay, push the button and hold it, release, get the little autofocus. Then you can focus on whatever it is that you want to focus on. Okay. And then that will keep that focus throughout the entire your entire shoot. And then if you want to turn off that feature, you have to push and hold that and turn that off. And then it goes back to it's actually funny because once you once you you're, you're trying to turn it off and then once you turn it off you're like, all right, so how do I turn it back on again? Uh, so there's our there's our piece there. And there we go. Piggy should try it should, yeah, there it goes. See? Okay. So again, push and hold. Get that little autofocus. Now once you focus you can tap to focus where you want it to focus on. And it will keep that. I haven't had a chance to actually try this, but my understanding is is that also locks the uh, exposure as well. So if you have uh, a bunch of films, a bunch of photos, or a bunch of films, or whatever you want to call them, that you're going to take, and you want to keep the exact same exposure, 
my understanding is is that this when this locks the autofocus it also locks the exposure as well but I haven't actually put that to the actual test okay so I'm gonna continue doing more of these as you can see the I'm, I'm shooting on my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and as you can see so we have autofocus is still on there you can see it's moving through so I'm gonna actually do that right now I'm gonna push and hold my finger there we go and it's now giving me the little autofocus symbol on my screen on my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and now you see 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 how handy that comes in so now as I'm moving my hand back and forth it's not constantly trying to figure out what it should focus on and you can understand now why this would be a really good feature to have if you're doing some films so please give me a um, thumbs up if you found this helpful and also uh, subscribe so you can get more of these good tips